Five earthquakes reported on Lake Tahoe. People felt shaking in both Nevada and California. But you can see the biggest quake, a 3.8 magnitude, struck right in the middle of Lake Tahoe. What if the ground beneath one of America's most beloved lakes erupted in a tremor so monstrous it sent waves towering higher than city skylines crashing onto the shorelines of California and Nevada. This isn't the blurred fantasy of disaster movies. This is a real threat lurking in the geology beneath our feet. The Lake Tahoe Megaquake, an event with the potential to unleash a tsunami wave capable of catastrophic devastation. In 2025, with new, sobering research in hand and emergency plans being tested as never before. Both scientists and local residents are waking up to the possibility that the next slice of American paradise to fall victim to nature's fury could be right here, along the tranquil shores of Tahoe. Why is 2025 a turning point for our understanding of what the lake is hiding? Today, we dive deep into groundbreaking studies seismic time bombs, and the latest emergency drills. Because what you discover here could someday save your life. So grab your life jacket and your curiosity and stick with us until the last second. Because the most important question still waiting to be answered isn't if it could all come crashing down, but when. We begin with breaking news in the Lake Tahoe area. A series of earthquakes that caught a lot of people's attention tonight. The largest of the quakes, a 4.7 magnitude. This happened around 9.30 this evening. The sleeping giant beneath Tahoe. The idea of a tsunami forming in a lake might seem far-fetched at first. After all, we usually associate such towering waves with ocean earthquakes or underwater landslides in places like the Pacific Rim. But geologists warn that Lake Tahoe is not only capable of generating these inland tsunamis, it has already done so in the past. Sediment records taken from the lake bed reveal layers of disrupted material and underwater landslide debris, which align with known periods of seismic activity over the past 10,000 years. One particularly violent event, estimated to have occurred nearly 4,500 years ago, appears to have generated a wave over 30 feet high, slamming into what is now the North Shore. Today, many of the region's popular tourist destinations, like Tahoe City, Incline Village, and South Lake Tahoe, sit directly in the path of where such a wave would hit hardest. The development boom of the 20th and 21st centuries has left the shoreline dotted with vacation homes, marinas, and businesses that were never built with tsunami-resistant architecture in mind. And with over 15 million people visiting the Tahoe Basin each year, the stakes for even a single major event are incalculable. Tahoe today rattled by a quake this morning, and it was felt all the way down here in the valley and in Sacramento, a magnitude 4.2 quake hit. What makes the 2025 warnings particularly sobering is the combination of seismic modeling and lake floor scanning using LIDAR and sub-bottom sonar. These tools have exposed hidden landslide zones, some of them still precariously perched on underwater slopes, ready to collapse if triggered by a moderate quake. In this scenario, the water doesn't just ripple. It violently sloshes back and forth in what's known as a seish, a lake-based version of a tsunami that can rebound across the surface several times in the span of minutes. Compounding the danger is the lack of awareness among both residents and visitors. While coastal communities are drilled in evacuation routes and siren systems, few in Tahoe know what to do if an earthquake strikes. Many people assume their greatest risks are snowstorms or wildfires, not a 25-foot wave crashing through the trees. Emergency preparedness plans are only now being updated to include the possibility of inland tsunamis. With scientists and officials urgently calling for better signage, real-time alerts, and structural reinforcements. Ultimately, Lake Tahoe's beauty masks a volatile past 
and perhaps an unpredictable future. As science continues to unearth the clues buried beneath the lake bed, one message becomes clear. The sleeping giant may not slumber forever. Tsunami waves on the west coast, from myth to mega threat. For Lake Tahoe, the danger lies not in ocean tides, but in the deceptive stillness of its own depths. Most visitors see a serene expanse of blue. Geologists, however, see a pressure cooker. The lake sits atop a network of active faults tied to the Walker Lane Seismic Zone, one of the most geologically complex and rapidly evolving regions in the western U.S. While most people associate earthquake risks with California's infamous San Andreas Fault, it's Lake Tahoe's own tectonic underpinnings that could set off a devastating chain reaction. Recent research in 2025 has mapped multiple submarine landslide zones on the lake's steep underwater slopes. These landslides, triggered by a significant earthquake, could displace millions of tons of water in an instant, resulting in waves that reach dozens of feet in height, surging from shore to shore in a matter of seconds. The process resembles dropping a giant boulder into a bathtub, a sudden, violent churn followed by chaotic oscillations. What makes Tahoe particularly vulnerable is its geography. Unlike coastal regions, where tsunami waves eventually dissipate into the open sea, Lake Tahoe's confined basin causes wave energy to rebound, creating prolonged surges called seiches. These waves can reflect and ricochet within the lake for up to 30 minutes after the initial quake, catching people off guard even after the first impact. Consider the implications. Lakeside towns such as Kings Beach, Tahoe City, and Zephyr Cove have limited evacuation routes, most of which could be blocked by landslides or fallen trees during a quake. Emergency response units, often designed for wildfire or avalanche scenarios, are not yet equipped for mass water displacement. A single, poorly timed event during a peak tourist weekend could see tens of thousands caught without warning. In 2025, scientists and emergency officials are advocating for immediate changes. New early warning networks are being installed along the lake bed, aimed at detecting underwater tremors and issuing automatic alerts. Public education campaigns are shifting their tone from quiet advisories to direct, visualized simulations of wave impact zones. Tsunami Preparedness Week once a coastal focus, now includes materials for inland residents too. The hard truth is that disasters don't check zip codes. Whether it's the Pacific Coast or the inland Sierra Nevada, the threat of water-driven catastrophe is real and growing. And in a place like Lake Tahoe, where nature and infrastructure dance on a fragile edge, awareness and preparation may be the only barriers between beauty and devastation. The whispers from the earth, what science says now. To understand the gravity of the situation, one must first grasp what it means for a region like Lake Tahoe to harbor silent faults. These are fractures in the earth's crust that move so infrequently they escape notice until they don't. Unlike the well-monitored San Andreas Fault, Tahoe's faults are hidden beneath water, forests, and rugged terrain. But in 2025, technological advancements have peeled back that veil. High-resolution seismic reflection surveys and sub-bottom profiling have revealed that the lake bed is fractured in multiple directions, with long, unstable slopes carved by ancient geologic forces. Among the most startling findings is the Emerald Bay Fault, which runs beneath one of Tahoe's most picturesque areas. It's not just a scenic cove, it's a rupture waiting for reactivation. If that fault were to move suddenly, the result could be a major underwater landslide. Combined with the region's steep bathymetry, such a collapse could trigger a chain reaction. Water displacement, surface waves, shoreline destruction, and a cascading failure of local infrastructure. And yet, what makes Tahoe especially perilous is not just the seismic potential, it's the illusion of tranquility. With millions of annual visitors and a permanent population living in what they assume is a safe inland environment, preparedness is woefully low. Most residents have never practiced earthquake drills. There are no tsunami sirens along the lakeshore. Cell service in many areas is patchy, 
and evacuation plans, if they exist, are rarely discussed. The result is a dangerous mismatch between hazard and readiness. Scientists warn that in the event of a major quake, warning time could be less than 60 seconds. That's barely enough time to register the shaking, let alone evacuate low-lying areas or reach high ground. For those near the lake's edge, even a delay of seconds could be fatal. As data pours in throughout 2025, officials are beginning to respond. Local governments have partnered with the USGS to expand seismic monitoring and begin shoreline vulnerability assessments. Some marinas and resorts are incorporating new design standards, raising docks and reinforcing foundations. But these are early steps, far from a region-wide overhaul. The message is clear. Lake Tahoe is not exempt from California's seismic narrative. It's deeply woven into it. And while the region may not tremble today, the echoes of the past and the warnings of science suggest that tomorrow could tell a far different story. Warning systems, seconds between calm and chaos. In an ideal world, those critical seconds of early warning would be enough. You'd hear the tone, see the flashing alert, and instantly spring into action. But in reality, human behavior doesn't always follow protocol. Panic, disbelief, and hesitation are common responses in high-stress situations, especially in places like Lake Tahoe, where earthquakes are infrequent and tsunamis sound like science fiction. That's why the Earthquake Warning California system, launched statewide and integrated across devices and sirens, is only part of the solution. The other half lies in education, simulation, and repetition. In 2025, authorities across the Sierra Nevada region are racing to build a culture of readiness, something California's coastline has practiced for decades, but the interior is only beginning to understand. Emergency managers are hosting community forums, handing out waterproof evacuation maps, and coordinating with schools and resorts to run shakeout drills that include water impact scenarios. That may not sound like much, but it's enough time to exit a weak structure, turn off gas valves, duck under sturdy furniture, or reach higher ground. In the case of a lake tsunami, it may be the only chance to survive before walls of water slam the shoreline. These are the questions that keep emergency planners awake in 2025, knowing that technology is only as effective as the people who trust and understand it. The early warning system is a race against time, but the real victory comes when every second is matched by action. Because in the face of natural disaster, hesitation is the enemy. In the stillness before the roar, your choice to move, to act, to prepare, might be the only line between survival and tragedy. The cascading risks, floods, landslides, a major quake wouldn't be a single calamity, but the first in a chain of disasters. While the initial shock and possible tsunami dominate attention, the aftermath could be just as deadly. Tsunami waves as high as 100 feet have been modeled for coastal scenarios and, while not documented for mountain lakes, significant waves several meters high are plausible for Tahoe, enough to overwhelm shoreline. Beachfronts, piers, and marinas would be at highest risk, with public parks, schools, and even homes further inland also threatened, depending on topography and wave size. Evacuation routes could quickly clog as residents and visitors attempt to flee low-lying areas. Secondary threats include landslides from shaking and intense water movement, which may bury infrastructure. Downed power lines and ruptured utilities could spark fires and outages, complicating rescue efforts. Roads and bridges may buckle, cutting off towns. Emergency communications could be lost at the worst possible time. Beyond immediate destruction, there's a long-term risk highlighted by new research. If a major quake were to coincide with rising water levels or land subsidence, issues linked to climate change in some West Coast areas, permanent flooding could reshape parts of the coastline or low-lying communities. While Lake Tahoe itself is not threatened by sea level rise due to its elevation, the broader region, especially coastal parts of California, Oregon, and Washington, faces a future 
where some neighborhoods could be submerged in the wake of massive earthquakes and tsunami. Tsunami Preparedness 2025 The Human Response Every March, Tsunami Preparedness Week poses an uncomfortable question to residents of California, Oregon, and Washington. If the warning came, would you act in time? In 2025, the question is more urgent than ever. State agencies conduct sweeping education campaigns in high-risk neighborhoods, distributing evacuation maps and basic preparedness kits. Schools run drills, waterfront businesses, and hotels post updated hazard maps and evacuation information. You are here, signs pop up in lobbies and trailheads, but meaningful preparedness requires more than maps or drills. It requires a cultural shift from disbelief to action. The greatest threat when dealing with low probability but high consequence events is denial. Many in communities like Tahoe have a hard time envisioning disaster at their own door. In 2025, the conversation is changing. Families pack go bags with water, radios, medication, and flashlights just in case. Local governments develop volunteer networks to staff shelters, stockpile emergency supplies, and maintain backup power and communication systems. Tech companies refine early warning apps and donate satellite internet kits for redundancy. Officials are integrating findings about earthquake risks and rising water with innovative emergency plans, recognizing that threats are interconnected. All this preparation builds capacity, but no system is infallible. The true test is how people respond in the moment, whether readiness turns into decisive action. Counting the odds, probabilities, and paradoxes. In seismic science, the truth is paradoxical. To most people, a 3 or 4% chance in 50 years sounds low. To a seismologist, it's a big deal. Here's why. A single magnitude 7 quake could result in immense destruction, regardless of frequency. Even a 3% probability, when the stakes are millions of lives and billions in property, justifies real action. For the broader West Coast, a 15% chance of a magnitude 8.0 plus quake in the next half century is a scenario that must be taken seriously. But for all the numbers, what matters is action on the ground. The true story is whether each community, business, and family takes steps to mitigate risk. When the ground moves, probabilities are cold comfort. Preparation is all that matters. When calm returns, lessons etched in water and stone. Even when the waves fade, risk remains. The tectonic forces beneath Lake Tahoe and along the West Coast continue their relentless, invisible march. With every year, every new study, every emergency drill, the reality becomes clearer. Paradise is not immune to disaster. Lake Tahoe's natural beauty, the communities that thrive nearby, and the millions who visit or call the region home, we stand at a decision point where readiness, not just luck, will determine our fate. The Lake Tahoe megaquake and the broader threat of tsunamis and flooding across the West are disasters in waiting, but not inevitable fates. Our resilience, built through preparation, education, and science, can make the difference long before the shaking starts. So, as Tsunami Preparedness Week unfolds, and researchers continue to study the fault lines beneath our feet, one question returns. If this journey through risk and resilience has given you a new perspective, share your thoughts in the comments. What would you do if the warning came? Like, subscribe, and stay with us for more stories about the mysteries and marvels of our planet. Until next time, keep your eyes open and your plans ready, because when it comes to nature's power, the greatest warning may be the quiet before the quake.